Yo, I'm Jake, and today we're going to nerd out about Uttanasana, or standing forward fold. Come on to your mat. You can stand at the top of your mat, and bring your feet hips width apart. Okay, at least inner hips width, so it's one fist width apart. Feet straight forward, and bow forward, and touch the floor in front of you. Okay, come on to your fingertips, bend your knees enough to touch the floor, and bend your knees enough to clear your low back. Okay? So your legs are active and actively stretching. You're working your legs towards straight, but only so much as you can touch the floor, and only so much as, this is important, you feel release out of your low back. Okay? So what's common in yoga is to bring your feet together, okay, and to keep your legs straight. And for most folks, I'd argue almost everybody, this is going to be a bummer for your back. If you're forcing your legs straight in an effort to really stretch your legs while you can't touch the floor or your low back strains, okay, this could be a nightmare, especially since we do this one so frequently in yoga, okay? So feet together is a, a bit of a, it's common depending on the style of yoga you practice, but I like feet inner hips width apart because in style of yoga that I teach, what you're looking at is you want both the inner and outer seams of your legs sitting back towards the back plane of your body at an even rate, okay? So if your feet are together, you might notice your legs do tend to bow. I mean, there's exceptions for, for those who are exceptional, <laughs> right? For those who are like yoga prodigies or, or Jedis, okay? And there are some poses where we will go here momentarily. And, um, but feet inner hips width apart keeps the seams of your legs setting back, which gives your thighs the best chance to set back in their hip sockets, which gives your, your low back the best chance to release. Okay, and then the bend in your knees is going to protect your low back. So you really want to achieve a healthy position in the low back rather than forcing your legs straight at the expense of your low back. Okay, so for the first couple of forward folds of the day, you are going to want to bend your knees most definitely, especially if you're easing into it first few of the day. And then as you progress in your practice, even over the course of a, a class, you'll notice like by the last one, you could really start to straighten your legs for a lot of us, but only so much, okay, as it feels clear in the low back, so much as you could touch the floor. Okay, you never want to force those legs straight at the expense of the low back, all right? So, happy forward folding. Okay, I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. My name's Jake. Thanks for being here. Namaste.